Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you. And this is lesson two in Serum Beginners course. So I've got Ableton Live open. This is my default template. And I'm gonna open my synth group. Now when you, let me just do it this way. When you, after you've downloaded and installed Serum, you click over here. It with, this is just in, uh, pertaining to Ableton, of course. And then you wanna go um, to your plugins and you can, on a Mac, you can pick out of the audio units. Serum right here to open. It's also in, under the VSTs as well, but um, I just prefer to use it as an audio unit with Mac. So the latest version they have out is 1.064. It's been updated a couple times since its initial release. And uh, I'm just gonna open it up for my where I have it saved on this channel in my default template. And when you first pull it up, this is what it looks like. So let's focus right here across the top and then work our way down. So the first tab you have open uh, by default is the oscillator tab. And this is the main window of the uh, Serum synthesizer. It's where you're going to do the majority of your work and sound design. And in this tab, or I'm sorry, in this oscillator tab you have a sub oscillator, oscillator A, oscillator B, a noise oscillator, and then you have your filter. Down, and that's the top half, down below you have all your uh, modulation and macro type effects along the side here. And then you have envelope one, envelope two, and envelope three, all of which we'll be going over later. I'm just showing you as an introduction kind of the layout. And then you have LFO one, LFO two, LFO three, and LFO four. Very powerful LFO section here. And you have a velocity and note window. Down below you see your attack, hold, decay, sustain, release, and then your different grids, uh, rate, rise, delay, smooth, uh, your voicing, mono or legato, and then your piano roll, mod wheel, and pitch bend, portamento, and the curve. So that's the general layout of the oscillator tab, the effects tab. You have your different effects here that you can turn on and off. And you can even drag and reposition. The uh, signal flow in Serum is from top to bottom. So the position of your different effects as you have them turned on will make a difference in the way the sound is designed. So it's very flexible, allowing you to turn them on and off and put them in whatever position you like. And then the next tab over we have is the matrix tab. This is going to allow for different routing. You have a source and you have a destination and you have an auxiliary source and a final output. The global tab, you have additional features here. You have chaos one, chaos two. You have your unison settings here. You have your preferences window in the middle oscillator settings over here and you can see that this build this new version 1.064 was released July 1st 2015 the next section over here you, you can save of course it's pretty straightforward and easy to understand it's where you save any presets or any projects you're working on the init window also if you click in the open here becomes your access point to all the presets, various presets, even the user's folder down below for your own personal settings. You can also browse through the presets simply by clicking the right and left arrows to access different presets. Next over you have the menu button and then you have the access to the manual can load a preset, init the preset, init modulations, 
revert to any saved. So if you're doing some work on a preset and you don't like how it turned out, you can come over here and hit revert to saved. It goes back to however the initial preset was started. You have copy oscillator A to B and copy oscillator B to A. Very handy little tools there. If you wanted the same setup on oscillator A and oscillator B, you would simply use this feature or this, this section here. Um, you can show CRM preset folders, which is kind of nice. It takes you to, to a directory right on your hard drive, and there's all the presets. You can hide the piano keyboard, and it'll cut that off the bottom if you need to screen real estate for any reason. It's pretty easy to do. Maybe if you're using a laptop and you don't really have a need for that, it can come in handy. You can load MIDI map, save MIDI map, and load tuning. You also have your master control knob right here. And that is the general layout of the GUI or the, the overall look of Serum. Let's move on to the next lesson.